Hey guys, I'm Ted here to give you another fast fact and for today's fast fact we will discuss the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Now the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo uh, officially ended the Mexican War. Uh, the war between the United States of America and the United uh, Mexican States. Uh, the war, uh, the treaty, uh, gave two-fifths of the Mexican Republic's territory to the United States. Um, a, a transference of land known as the Mexican Cession in United States history. Uh, it also sti uh, also stipulated that the border between uh, the United States and Texas has regard in regards to uh, the American state, the United States uh, state of Texas, and the Mexican uh, national border would be the Rio Grande River. And of course, the border dispute between Mexico and Texas had been one of the original reasons uh, for the for the outbreak of hostility between the United States and Mexico. Uh, the war, uh, the treaty, also stipulated that uh, the United States would be would uh, make a make a nominal fee of about fifty million dollars uh, to Mexico. Um, the the treaty was widely panned in Mexico and led to the immediate collapse of the Mexican government. Um, one of the reasons that the United States sort of rushed the, the treaty through was that the Mexican government uh, was in dire need of that money, that, that $50 million. The, the nation had been uh, just racked with internal discord. And it really needed the, uh, that, that money to sort of set things right, to sort of fill the coffers, to sort of get the, uh, the ball rolling on, on uh, bringing Mexico back up to par. Uh, the treaty... Uh, was looked at dubiously by foreign observers. Um, it was quite evident that the United States was in a rush to uh, to get the treaty passed before the Mexican government collapsed. Uh, ever since uh, the defeat of Santa Ana in 1836, uh, uh, the Mexican government had rarely been stable. There had been periods of uh, prosperity, per periods of calm, but for the most part, it had, it had uh, just been unstable and not really able to uh, to get its act together to. Um, uh, n not not even really able to get its act together to defeat the Texans. Um, with that being said, the uh, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo uh, really had uh, kind of the the same impact on the United States. Uh, it was a claim to the United States. It was sort of had a good thing in the United States, and then the reality set in in the in the uh, United States, and that is that with all of this land coming in. Uh, many people wonder what was going to happen to it. For a very large segment of the population, for the for the slavocrats and the pro-slavery forces, it was quite clear the majority of the territory laid below the uh, laid below the 3630 line, which meant that this territory would be open to slavery. Uh, it, it it assured the survival of slavery, and nobody at the time would have thought of the the arid dry regions of the uh of um of the uh desert of the sonoran deserts or of the west texas deserts um nevada or even uh the desert regions of california nobody thought of these regions as being suitable for the agricultural uh uh based slavery that was popular in uh georgia and in texas um, they simply wanted uh, pro-slavery states in the Union to bulk up slavery support nationwide. Um, and of course, this was just unsuitable to the, the many northern forces, uh, the many northern uh, advocates of either free soil for European American men or, or the uh, northern abolitionists. Um, so, uh, so the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo was sort of a double-edged sword for the United States and was extremely detrimental to the United States. Uh, and then you guys have it. A uh, quick fast fact on the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. I hope you guys found it insightful um, and enjoyable, maybe um, uh, informative, or hopefully informative. Uh, as always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about my fast fact on this treaty. And as always, I'm Ted, and I'll see you guys next time for another fast fact.